Prime Minister calls for resisting arson terrorism. BNP leader Amir Khosru on six-day remand. Election Commission to sit with all parties on Saturday. Israeli genocide going unabated. Hamas calls for resisting U.S. plot. Those were the headlines. You're watching ATN News. Good evening, viewers. I'm Rubaba Ahmed with English Bulletin. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called for resisting BNP, saying the party is once again engaged in arson terrorism. She made the call while addressing a discussion marking jail killing day at Bangabandhu International Conference Center on Friday. The Prime Minister said Khandukar Mustak along with Zia Rahman plotted the killings of four national leaders inside jail. Their main objective was to destroy the spirit of the liberation war. Talking on the recent political situation, Sheikh Hasina said, knowing that it will not win the polls if it takes part in the polls, BNP is now engaged in arson terrorism. She also criticized BNP's siege program. It wants to create unstable environment by stopping polls, the Prime Minister added. Ruling Awam League has observed jail killing day with profound shock and deep homage. Central leaders and activists of the party paid homage at Bangabandhu's portrait in capitals Dhanmundi on Friday morning. Later, they paid homage to four national leaders at Bonani graveyard. After paying homage, Awam League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir said, August 15 of 1975 and November 3 is interlinked and continuity of the same conspiracy. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud termed November 3rd of 1975 as a disgraceful day of the history in Bangladesh. Four national leaders were killed to obstruct peace of progress of the country. Home Minister Asaduzzaman Khan Kamal made the remark after paying homage at the portrait of four national leaders at the old central jail in capital's Nazimuddin Road. He said the four leaders were brutally murdered amid full-proof security in the jail. The government is trying to bring back the absconding killers from abroad. Talking on the October 28 violence in the capital, the Home Minister said those who were on the stage at the time cannot just shrug off the responsibility of the incident. Later, the Home Minister went around the museum made on the old central jail premises in the memory of the four national leaders. A Dhaka court has sent BNP Standing Committee member Amir Khushru Mahmoud Choudhury and convener of party's media cell Zohiruddin Shapon on six-day remand. The court of Metropolitan Magistrate Zaki Al-Farabi granted remand on Friday afternoon following a remand hearing. The DB police sought 10-day remand for the sake of the case. Earlier, both BNP leaders were taken to Dhaka's CMM court at 2 p.m. Friday. Amir Khushru Mahmoud Choudhury was arrested in the early hours of Friday from his Gulshan residence. Zohiruddin Shapun was also arrested from his Gulshan residence. Both of them were arrested in connection with the police constable's death incident on October 28, violence centering BNP's rally in capital's Neapolton. There is a possibility that the national polls will take place in the first week of January. The schedule of the polls will be announced this month. That is why the Election Commission has invited 
all registered political parties for a dialogue on Saturday. Responding to the invitation, the ruling Awami League has decided to send two members' delegation to join the dialogue. The delegation comprises Awami League Presidium member Farooq Khan and Information and Research Secretary Selim Mahmoud, lauding the step of the Election Commission as a positive one. The leader of the party said the Commission will be able to read the pulse of all parties through the dialogue. Registered parties of the Awami League-led 14-party alliance will also take part in the dialogue. It has learned that they will give their opinion in favor of holding the national polls under the constitutional framework. U.S. Ambassador to Bangladesh Peter Huss went to Election Commission amid BNP-called siege program last Tuesday. In his exclusive meeting with the Chief Election Commissioner Habibul Awal, the U.S. Ambassador emphasized on creating congenial atmosphere for the polls. Against the backdrop, the EC sent invitation letters to all registered political parties for a dialogue scheduled to take place on Saturday. However, BNP and its alliance partners think this is a farce as most of their leaders are now in jail. They termed it as a preparation for holding polls, keeping BNP out of the race. A witness of several dialogues between BNP and Awam League former BNP leader, Oli Ahmed, prefers to settle it on the streets rather than dialogue. Now a short break, we will be back soon with Rufi arrested in actri actress Himu unnatural death case. 32 killed in Iran's drug rehab center fire. You are watching ATN News. This is English Bulletin. The Rapid Action Battalion has arrested accused Mohammad Ziauddin Rufi in connection with unnatural death incident of actress Humaira Himo. Legal and Media Wing Director of Rab Kondogar Al Moin has confirmed his arrest to the media through a brief message on Friday. Earlier on Thursday, Himu was found hanging from a ceiling fan at her Uttara residence. The doctors declared her dead after she was rushed to a hospital. Later, a suicide provocation case was filed. Now news around the world. Showing sheer disrespect to call for ending the genocide in Gaza, the Israeli occupation forces continue their killing spree. A total of more than 9,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli hainas. They are not sparing anyone. No one is spared. Men, women and innocent children are falling prey to their brutal murders. They claimed to surround Gaza from all sides. However, denouncing their claim, Hamas said the Israeli aggressors having a tough time due to strong resistance from Hamas. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has called upon Israel to stop loss of lives in Gaza. However, doubting U.S. intention, Hamas has called upon the Arab world to foil all attempts of U.S. At least 32 people killed after a massive fire at a drug rehabilitation center in Langarud city of northern Iran. Iranian media reported this on Friday. Several news agencies quoting the province's deputy governor, Mohammad Jalai, confirmed this. Sixteen others are wounded in the blaze, four of whom are in critical condition. 
Initial investigation showed that a heater in the opium rehab camp in Lengarud in the Caspian Sea province of Jilan was the cause of fire that spread to the rest of the center. The manager and other possible culprits have been arrested so that the cause of the incident is more accurately determined. According to UN Office of Drugs and Crime, Iran has one of the severest addiction problems in the world. It lies on the main trafficking route of, for Popi, the source of opium and heroin from Afghanistan to Western Europe. Delhi continued to be engulfed in a thick layer of smog on Friday. In light of the rising pollution levels, all government and private primary schools in Delhi will remain closed for the next two days. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal tweeted, A sudden dip in Delhi's air quality covers Delhi with thick haze. Air quality in several parts of the national capital remained in the severe category. Overall, air quality index stood at 346. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, neighboring Gurugram has also taken measures to counter pollution. Air quality in Delhi's Lodhi Road, Jahangirpuri, RK Puram and IGI airport areas remained severe with AQI reading of over 400. Central Pollution Control Panel has banned non-essential construction activity and burning waste materials in national capital region. Scientists have warned of further spike over the next two weeks. Medical professionals fear that soaring pollution levels will worsen asthma and lung problems in children and seniors. Pakistan announced the general election's date after months of anticipation and uncertainty. The election will be held in the country on February 8 next year. Pakistan electoral body and president Dr. Arif Alvi agreed on the date for elections Thursday. The development came after Chief Election Commissioner Sikandar Sultan Raja visited presidency on orders of the Apex Court. The Apex Court had taken us pleas regarding, regarding elections. Election Commission of Pakistan, ECP, on Friday submitted a notification before the Supreme Court pertaining to poll date, which has been set in stone. ECP, in exercise of its power under Article 57.1 of the Elections Act and all other powers entrusting with the authority, announces February 8, 2024 as date for general election. Attorney General for Pakistan, AGP, Mansur Rusman Awan submitted the electoral body's election notification on November 3rd. A three-member bench, all, report, all respondents have given their approval in presence of judge after AGP's notification hearing. In January next year will be decisive of the destiny of more than 23 crore people of Pakistan. Now sports news. Real Madrid's Brazil forward Rodrigo has signed a contract extension until 2028. The La Liga club announced on Thursday. The announcement came two days after fellow Brazilian Vinicius Jr. extended his contract at Real until 2027. Real said in a statement, Real Madrid, CF and Rodrigo have agreed a contract extension for the player who will remain at the club until June 30, 2028. Rodrigo has scored 39 goals in 179 appearances for Real. He won eight trophies, including two league titles, a Champions League and a Club World Cup. The 22-year-old joined Real in 2019 from Santos for a reported fee of 45 million euros with his original contract running until 2025. Real extended the contract with Rodrigo for three years before the end of the contract. Media reports say the new contract has a reported release clause of 1 billion euros. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. 
Prime Minister calls for resisting arson terrorism. BNP leader Amir Khosru on six-day remand. Election Commission to sit with all parties on Saturday. Israeli genocide going unabated. Hamas calls for resisting U.S. plot. Rufi arrested in actress Himu unnatural death case. 32 killed in Iran's drugs rehab center fire. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us.